I wanted to see how close I could get to ISO Tamita's famous whistle patch. For reference, I'm using documentation found in Alan Strange's electronic music book, second edition. That documentation corresponds to his Moog system and not my system. So a lot of what I'm doing is by ear and kind of just remembering the way that it sounded on records. The audio signal flow for Tamita's whistle patch starts with white noise going into a low pass filter. Use an input with a level, that's going to be the adjustment of how much noise is in your final patch. Plug the control voltage from your keyboard into the one volt per octave input of your low pass filter. Plug a gate from your keyboard into your first envelope generator. Plug the output of your envelope generator into the control input of your VCA. Then plug the output of your filter into the signal input of your VCA. Turn up the white noise to maximum into the filter and then raise the filter frequency to about two, just slightly. Now introduce resonance and you'll hear a part at which it sort of screams. Back it off that ever so slightly. Now turn down the level of noise. Just add as much noise as you'd like. And we're ready for the control voltage portion. For the whistle's vibrato, plug a sine wave into the signal input of a VCA. That VCA is going to be controlled by a second envelope generator. And your keyboard will trigger the gate. The LFO, now going through a VCA, is plugged into input one of the mixer. And we'll use one more envelope to modulate the pitch. The envelope modulating pitch will go into input two of the mixer. The mixer's output is then plugged into the control voltage input of your low pass filter. Tamita is using a mixer to combine the LFO and the pitch envelopes to the filter. So you can see in here, I'll show you the pitch envelope. Really exaggerated. The second envelope delays the vibrato. One thing I did to try to get a little closer to what I've heard on records is run the output through a filter bank. Just thins it out. 